Hello, hello, hello. We're going to do a little housing tour today. And immediately after that we're going to do our crafting rest. But, you know, still, we're going to do a housing tour. And it's going to be Acolyte Deras Moon Sugar Meadow Temple. Because you know me, I've always got a story. Ooh, let's mute that. Right, there we go. No, we don't want feedback. So here we've got little Viv, our lovely little murder pixie. Uh, collections, housing, noble. Oh no 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 no, wrong house. Housing noble, moon sugar meadow. So yesterday I tried to use the uh, Twitch mobile app to capture footage of my adorable ginger fluff cat putting his head off as I petted him and I could not get the bloody thing to work. I don't know if it's because I had to force it closed or it's I'm just like doing it wrong but I couldn't get uh, it to work. So we have no footage of the adorable ginger fluff cat putting his head off. At least until that webcam I ordered arrived. Okay, so here we are. Moon sugar meadow. And the first thing we did to this place was give it a fancy gate. Now, most of my house builds... house builds, sorry. House, houses, house singular. House builds have a story and the one for this is that it's a temple for Acolyte Deris. You know the dude, little uh, Dunmore house guest, got told to go find his own way. Okay, so as usual we have a crafting area because Dave likes to craft. And when we come into this place from another zone, uh, when we're in northern elsewhere, it's handy to have decon spots. It don't involve you having to run around ribbon. Sadly, I can't make these tents yet. I need to find the pattern. <coughs> As you can see, we've forested this area, although it's not really us that did it, it's the prior, prior occupant. This place was originally a Khajiit temple and then some fleeing uh, aliens and their high elf descendants built a small Alanor Al style temple I guess you'd say. And then they abandoned it, buggered off or died of the Kanatan flu. I haven't quite decided yet. Anyway, over here we have the parking uh, garage. We have our six wagons for pilgrims and stuff. Supply convos, the likes. We've got our grooming stool for our horse attendants. Got some carrots and apples as bribery material to keep them the horses uh, well behaved. Although you'll see they're not all actually horses. We've got the white run wind steed, a camel, a bear, a singed tiger, a war horse, and the golden aguar. Plenty of hay for them to eat, and they can always try some of the uh, plants if they want to. But the idea is that uh, Acolyte Deris has all these pilgrims park and uh, stable their mounts here. And then they can proceed down to the crafting tent. If they need to fix their gear or store anything. All while enjoying the lovely forest thickets. And we come down the pathway. And we have some other amenities over here. Tithus is taking stock of all the supplies we've got. 
and here we have a bath tent just you know wash the road dust off because you know a good pilgrim cleans themselves up uh, uh, up after reaching their temple miscellaneous supplies in this tent Tithus keeps inventory he's very studious We've got one of the Khajiit statues from the original temple here. Because, you know, the elves didn't decide to get rid of it entirely. And here we have our storage tent for food. Curing meats. We've got the rabbit. We've got the fish. We've got some uh, sm uh, solitude smoking fish here. A little buffet selection here. Food, beer, cookies, etc, etc. Nazemi's making sure it's well stocked. And maybe helping herself to a drink or two. Who knows. Over here we made a very, 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 very crude barracks. Basically just, you know, some place for your pilgrims to chill, drop their belongings, nap, compose themselves, and then down here we have the temple prior. Again, we have the Khajiit relics. There's the moon blessed fountain, one of the shrines that they managed to move, but. Uh, broke a corner off this tower that they couldn't get rid of so they just left it and again they shoved another shrine over here this little section is Perari's domain and Perari's being a naughty naughty Khajiit she's managed to get her hands on a collection of many different temp temple relics all across Tamriel which she'll sell you if the price is right. Gotta get that moon sugar fix, yo. This is her profits. No one ever touches her profits. No, no, no. And for God's sakes, do not touch this, the ball of wool. She will claw your eyes out. Now, the high, well, Aelid High Elf remnants of their people decided to plant some of the trees from Oridon, trying to stamp their own personality on this place, put down some lovely Iliad benches so we can listen to the sermons from the temple. And we head up the stairs to our lectern where I um, like to imagine there's some very stirring sermons rather than just the Honoured Ancestors Lord book. And over here we have the Iliad Lightwells, which are wonderful sources of illumination at night. Incidentally I kind of wish we could control the day and night cycle in our uh, houses, that would be really nice. And over here we have the music box, the Enigmas of the Elder Way. I liked it so much I bought this duplicate and stashed it away for a belt just like this. Acolyte Deris has managed to uh, get some suitably thematic trellises and potted plants for the temple. We've got the shrines of Trinimac and Magnus, Ifri and uh, Oriel. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, 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 no. Finaster? Was it Finaster who taught the elves how to live longer by taking shorter steps? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, we have a nice little sedate processional. As we walk to the Shrine of Oriel, 
which is festooned with flowers and has all the divine shrines we could get our hands on. And trust me, we got all of them. Even if we have to pay through the nose for a couple of them. But it's okay, we'll just be vigilant next time the luxury vendors are selling them. I do kind of wish the central shrine of Oriel was uh, interactable. I'd like to be able to turn it down. And is there meant to be liquid in that? No, it's just magic holy light. But yes. Getting the build on this right was... Well, I'll show you. Uh, better views from the sides. Let's see the uh, little ugly bits. Also, are those candles lit in there? Couldn't tell because it's daylight. Anyway, the... See? Ugly. Ugly. We've got gaps. We've got big gaps. How far do I go before I get slaughtered first? So, of course we could use the big... Uh, Khajiit uh, platforms. Those weren't too bad. It was a... Uh, Fairly easy. I knew where I wanted the Shrine of Oriel to go, so it was just a case of getting the right length for the shrines. I didn't like the contrast between the Alinor walls and the Khajiit brickwork, so I had put down the Alinor floors and then the pedestals and the walls. It's not bad from inside, it's just some of the seams from the outside are... Well, they're not perfect. I know people that could do better, but the, this is mine. It's a nice build, and I'm quite happy with it. Although we have how much brows? 44 slots left, so if anything suitable comes out architecturally, we can always uh, add more. I think I need a giant rock to close that bit off. Otherwise it's just going to nag at me. Basil slump, desert, 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 desert. Much better. I never really notice these little flaws, or I don't think of them too much until I go into the perspective of someone that might be watching, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably do something about that. Uh, Just because there's a boulder there doesn't mean it has to grow moss. Excuse me. I'm more than a little gassy today and I can taste salt. That means I'm probably coming down with something. It's one of those little indicators I have. It's either that or the new medication I'm on. And either way, ugh, I'd prefer to avoid it, but you can't exactly. <sighs> the body does what the body does. So I haven't actually talked much to Acolyte Deris. Let's go see what he says. <coughs> I suppose I could use another break. You're a very timid little man, aren't you? Greetings. Greetings. I think we definitely got a bag ripped off with this dude. At least Birodar has a personality. But yes, I'm qu I quite like the uh, arches this way. I'm fairly certain I got them all 
at the same level. Although uh, the majority of my decorating is never actually planned out ahead beyond like, okay, I want a temple. What am I going to use? I will use this, blah, blah, blah. Play stuff, play stuff, play stuff, edit, 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 play stuff, play stuff, play stuff. I happen to know quite a few people who will actually go onto their computer and plan out their designs. There's a guy called Sir Gorgoroth who does some of the most fantastic housing projects I've ever seen. And oh my god, he's got amazing cold harbour that can legit take you four hours to get through. I've still managed, I still haven't managed to get to the second level of the damn thing. As you can see, I've like got everybody wandering around. I would have liked to be able to put more house guests out, but that would mean removing the mounts. I'd kind of like it if in future the house guests had their own uh, category rather than being lumped in with the mounts and the non-combat pets, because can't really do much with it. Uh, one of our hidden monuments here. Let's see, what do we have? Have some rebellious Khajiit still worshipping here. Hmm. Kunzari wouldn't really fit well. Yeah, we have some nice candles or a Khajiit bridge there or something. What does Khajiit do for their gods, I wonder? I mean, can't they moon sugar and wine? They keep all that stuff for themselves. Anyway, we like forested this area. Not uh, to an obscene degree. I mean, yes, okay, we've got a bunch of trees, but we didn't completely overdo it. I like making forests, okay? We're just, you know, going to accept that. Oh, crap, I forgot to add the music credits when we started this, didn't I? Oops. Mm, let's do that right now. Matt was nice enough to let us use his music. I'm at least on the courtesy of uh, saying who gave us it. God's bless grammar, grammarly even. Okay. Uh, right. I think that was everything. I didn't add anything else here, did I? I mean, what could I add for that matter? Have anything? Rolling stories, fences. Little 
little skimmer pavilion by the waterfall. I think that's uh, kind of middle of the way. No, that's far too small. If you've got an overseas order, we can help you fulfill it with a working capital loan. And if you're entering a challenging market, we can ensure that you get paid with the right insurance. We've helped hundreds of companies to win contracts, fulfill orders, and get paid. To get the exporter's edge, search UK Export Finance. Look at you, listening to Spotify while you do whatever it is you're doing. Wait, That's exactly okay. why so it makes we sense put that to there. your business <clears throat> here. Yeah, your business. Whether you have two employees or 2,000, your voice can reach as broad or as narrow of an audience as you need. Do I have and any tough them <laughs> where visual media can't. Try it today at adstudio.spotify.com mm. or tap the banner to learn more. That'll do for putting skimmer on. So we've got three on that side, one, two, three, four, five on this side, so we need to move that on by two. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Excellent. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to come back here later with Callian and some skooma bubblers, but yeah. We'll put this little skooma pavilion in, make some cute lanterns, uh, maybe make some of those standing red guard tenty things. Yeah. Make a little secret for people to discover. But yeah, that's the um, uh, Acolyte Deris's Munchiger Metal Temple. Stolen from the Khajiit by the Aliades in the High Elves and abandoned by the Aliades in the High Elves and now lovingly tended to by Acolyte Deris and his friends. I hope the house tour's been at least moderately interesting for anybody that decided to watch. But 
for now we're going to have to get back to Cold Harbor and begin our daily housing stuff. So thank you all, uh, God's bless and uh, keep, you, uh, keep yourself safe. Be good everybody.